Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. We are playing modded still and today is the day we're gonna build our Kintaro in a proper way, I would say. So let's go ahead and take a look at the star map. We are... we could play an infiltration contract here, but I don't really feel like it. So we go to Decon because we have some Cantina missions open, if I remember correctly. Yes, currently we only have four and we always want to have six, so it totally makes sense. Uh, yeah, picking some more of these up. And yes, I could have taken a look at the other industrial hub beforehand to maybe pick up a weapon system or two. But let's be real, we don't really have the money to pick anything up. We are here to rebuild. Let's go. Jump jets. Yes, I can do that. No problem. Uh, collect a Vulcan for a pretty good LRM. I'm definitely gonna pick the jump jet one up. Uh, a Vulcan... I guess we could do it. It's better than nothing right now. I mean, these are two machine guns. It's not really worth it. All right, let's take the Vulcan thing. Um, but yeah, here we are, guys. And uh, it's finally time to take a look. So, how do we start this? Um, yeah, with the Kentaro, because I really want this guy on the battlefield in a proper way. So let's, um, let's uh, think about it. We're going to start by repairing... Looking at my hard points real quick. We actually got three energy hard points. Okay, so that means we have some options. First of all, we're running an engine core 275, which is, uh, it's, it's good enough, I would say. Let's give it an XL upgrade. Kablam, for 800,000, totally viable. That lowers our weight dramatically. And we have a clan double heat sink kit and an inner sphere double heat sink kit as well. We're gonna go with the inner sphere one for the moment. That increases our cooling by... It doubles our cooling. That's so good, man. <laughs> this alone would be a massive upgrade for the mech. Click the mech's armor button. Uh, and then drop some of the leg armor back. Down to 49. Pretty good. Do we have any structural upgrades? We do not. But the improved sensors are gonna be really nice for maybe an LRM boat. So, here we go. Gonna drop all of this. We have Pharaoh, by the way. Pretty good. What I want... Honestly, is a lot of LRM 5s. Ha! Huh. So we have that missile hardpoint here in the center, which is not enough to pick up one of these LRM 20s. We can put it on the arm, obviously. Two 20s, tier 2. Wait, no, we have to stream one, so they are even better. That! <laughs> Look at all the green numbers. It's so good, man. So good. All the green numbers in the world. And at this point, we are already heat neutral. So we could do a thing like um, adding some good medium lasers. I'm going to go with the tier 4. Because they are mounted and they tend to fall off. And I want to keep my tier 5 somewhat safe uh, in a different build. And the rest is ammunition. Like a double bin. Mm, I want two double bins. I think I need two double bins in order to make this build viable. So that doesn't fly. That's not good enough. Anyway, we could take one and still be fine here. And get one of these beautiful, beautiful LRM5s in the center. Maybe run two SRM4s as backup. Uh, can we go six... Can we? Problem is the heat management. Oh, this is gonna be an interesting mech, man. Uh, we have two LRM5 streams, so that could also be an option. You know, just go all LRM. Like this, maybe? I think that's good. So what do we have now? 35 missiles that we are lobbing. And by the way, LRM damage enhancement plus 25%. It's pretty good, man. Now, we also have two extra tons that we could use to maybe go for something like another heatsink or so. Question mark, question mark. <sighs> SLDF double heatsink specifically designed for Starlink Royal Regiment. Actually fits. It's a lot of heat capacity. We don't need it here. That's the thing. We just don't need it here. So I'll put a double in the center and another double in the side. Got some crit padding here. And we're good to go. That's our new Kintaro. Make it all LRM. Don't know about the ammo, but we'll figure it out. 
So, three medium lasers for short range defense. Eh. He was... Oh, wait. Should not change that now because it will reset the build. Um, the roll is going to be reset at some other point. We are repaired. It's very cheap, comparatively, and only takes 55 days. That is our dedicated missile support. So, now we can click the repair all button because the other guys we won't touch, but I want to touch the Hollander. So, let's see what we can do here. Engine core 225. We have some uh, single heat sinks, one extra single. Yeah, that's all we need. I feel we need to lower the engine if you want to keep the Gauss, but maybe we drop the Gauss and instead put the LB5 on the Mac. Ooh, I like that idea. We also have a medium rifle, don't we? Like tier 3. Ha. Huh. So, this guy doesn't have any specific quirks. You could even give it the missile weapon, although it, it, it feels bad. I know, it feels wrong. And taking out the Gauss also kind of feels wrong. But that thing here is only a... It's a 5-ton item. That's uh, 2 damage per second. Gauss is 2.5 with 15 damage pinpoint. Yeah, we have like the poor man's Gauss rifle here. <laughs> Not the most range. Yeah, damage is comparative. Heat is fine. Projectile speed is really low. So I don't know if we would hit anything with... Nah, he, I'm, I'm gonna take that LB5. So we can also put some... Some energy weapons on the mech. Yeah, I do want that. Okay. So, one ton of ammo. Kablam, kablam. There we go. Um, We want to max out the armor, which is already done. Great. And yes, we have a bunch of uh, energy hard points, and I think it's gonna be all medium laser tier 4. There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. What we need now is better cooling, but we can also easily get this done by adding a clan double heat sink to the mech, which is incompatible with the singles. But we can easily slap a double here. Alright, so we are perfectly fine on cooling. I wonder if 80 shots are enough, but I guess so. For the missions that we are in right now, it's perfectly fine. And we even can put an SRM on the mech. <laughs> this is so good. Yep. Totally putting that SRM-6 in there. With a ton of ammo. And we have a, like a mini brawler. We have basically the, the smaller version of our Hellcat. Also, only 20 days. Love to see it. Engine upgrade is not possible. I guess we could get a little bit more heat sinking into the mech. So... Now we have a ton. What are we doing with the last ton? Improved sensors? I mean, we could. It doesn't take any weight or anything. You could run jump jets. You could easily run jump jets. I like that idea. Give it two of those. A bit more vertical mobility. And I could even give it two more if I drop another heatsink. I need to know. If this is going to be enough, we will certainly try this mag today. 3.1 against 2, it might be good enough. Because we won't be always engaged. There will be periods of cooldown. Um, Put that in the leg, I guess. Sure. The torso is big. It's maybe attracting a lot of fire, so I don't want that ammo to go off. Uh, Same with the SRM ammo. Yeah. And one of each jump jet is also going to go in the legs. I like this little boy. I think it's better than the Gauss idea that we had before. 26 days. And I'd say we're gonna actually bring this guy to the battlefield. One quick check. Yeah, this guy has special camo patterns. Oh, that, that's good. I like this gray industrial stuff. So we cannot make it as beautiful as our own mechs. But this is kind of close. We are like that monochrome um, pirate setup. So Arctic. Arctic might be the thing. Oh, look at all of these. It's so beautiful. I know, it's a minor thing, but I am a sucker for it. Fiber. Oh, love it. Fleck. No. Grunge. Polo? <laughs> Alright. So, so good, man. Sand. Oh, I love those colors! Look at all of this. Woodland. Yeah. Alright, so that's not what we are here for. Wait, I, I could change the colors. 
I could totally change the colors to something a little bit more monochrome. So, it's all about the pattern, and I think that's gonna be it. So let's make that more whitish. Yeah, I like it. All right, let's apply it. Kablam. So, guy is beautiful, and we are going to the next conflict zone. I really want to ramp up the difficulty a little bit, so where do we go? Core wards. I feel like we're gonna go this direction now, like right um, to the north. Cool. Make a little break here. There's a war zone for Liao against the independents. Both factions really like us. So it's kind of sad to see that we are breaking one of their, uh, one of them uh, reputations. A merchant. All right, we'll accept it. We're going to take a look at what we're going to get here potentially. Major boost to reputation for 2 million. No. For 11 million seabills, we can get a pirate's bane. I mean, it's a hero mech, but I don't have 11 million. And we have outcast. Oh. A million seabills. To get it an elite pilot. I do like the idea of that. But people said I could also say Exploration Skirmish and break the contract and just attack them. Betray and murder the traders to steal their loot. And I think I want to. It's difficulty 50. But you know what? It's exactly what we were looking for. So let's go! I'm we gonna take the salvage and we're gonna get <laughs> we're gonna get wrecked. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So we need the bestest of the bestest pilots. You are a little bit impaired, but I don't care. We want the good hawk, so the 2D. And we obviously want the Hollander. There's no pilot, I know. Where are our special dudes? All of them are already here. I think you were the next best guy with 48 max. Yeah. You set him up, I'll knock him down. Alright. So, that's gonna be my squad. We are 220 out of 270 tons. Oh boy. I'm a little bit afraid, but I'm also a little bit excited. Are we ready to go? No, we're not. Alright, one more thing before we do. We need to max that out. It's super, super important to get that sorted. Uh, weapon groups. Weapon groups are so damn important here. So, all of the missiles on the one, lasers on the two. Because people will always try to fire their first fire group first, and if they cannot get that done, you know, they cycle uh, cycle through. So, let's do it like this. Uh, 20 here, the fives on the three, I'd say. Bit of chain fire action. And then we got this as a chain fire group for the medium lasers. Looks good. Apply. Same with the Hollander. Just change the build, so let's go ahead and set the weapon groups correctly. Kind of okay. Do I even want that hand-to-hand -hand combat? I don't know. You know what, I'm not gonna take that, because it might mean that these guys are going in. Trying to go for hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. And we're gonna change the role to scout still, right? Yeah, why not? Uh, Kintaro wants to be missile boat. Very important. Here we go. Keep your distance, buddy. And now we're ready to go. Okay. We are over tonnage in bay number four. <laughs> All right. Sure. Sure. Uh, where is McBay number four? All right. Good, good, good. Sure. Guys, let's go. It's gonna be a challenge. I hope that we can get it done. I don't know which mech to take, honestly. Maybe it's the Hollander, because I feel like it has the most DPS comparatively. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think so. I really do. But hey, we're gonna figure it out. What I do like is we have range. Um, that means we can soften up the enemies with lots of missiles, auto cannon fives, and LB-5s, one of each. And if the enemies are getting close, we still have some short-range missile burst action going. 
on the Hollander and the Shadowhawk. Yeah. The medium lasers are basically our thing. So, primary objective. I think it's gonna be a duel or something, right? 23 hostiles! Oh! Oh god, oh god. Igor's galore. Here they come. Yo, guys, we need some kind of cover. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Come on, come on, come on. Get those. I'm gonna take care of the Igors. Get wrecked, please. Got one. Got two. Where's the other one? Too close, too close, too close. Ah! <laughs> Got him. Another Igor somewhere? Cannot see this guy here, huh? Yeah. Missiles. They are relatively slow with the damage, though. Okay, heat critical, but that's alright. We'll take you next. I hate to shoot the large laser here. <laughs> we attack the caravan. Uh, SRM carrier, we'll take that guy. Traders hired people to protect them? Oh yeah, cool. Ah, uh, it's not dead. Uh, what's that? An a oh, it's an archer. It's an archer. Kintaro, by the way, lost a unit. Or lost a, sorry, component. Heat is a thing. Heat is a thing. Uh, I hate that my Kintaro is getting blasted. So is it worth it, ultimately? Holy hell! Holy hell, cat! Freaking... God damn it. That's so much. The reinforcements here, the random reinforcements actually are killing us. Okay. Bad. Guys, focus fire. Now. On the legs, on the legs, on the legs. Critical. Can you do it? We're not killing fast enough. My people are getting smashed. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So next up. What's the guy in the bag? Quick draw, sure, whatever. Everybody is damaged. Like, big time. Santa torso. Santa torso, lance made four. All right. I'm gonna put myself into harm's way. Cool. I really feel like the quick draw might not be the one that we should go for. They're not killing fast enough. Uh, yeah, that guy. Um, we want to take that down quickly. As long as we are not losing any any mechs. I think we are fine. Flashman. Yeah, now we can take our time. Because now we are not getting overwhelmed by uh, the amount of enemies on the board anymore. Yeah, sure. Go for me. I have armor still. It's alright. I'm getting shot by a tank. Get out of here, Scorpion. Uh, there are blind, corners. Uh, uh, blind corners, yeah, I see some enemies here. Which are attacking me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get out of here. Uh, the hawk can still take some beating, so we're gonna leave him to what he's doing. Okay. Got the tank. There's the flashman. Guys, go go over here. Take cup. Oh god! Oh my freaking god. Uh, Hollander, hold fire. Kintaro is still fine. Right. I think I'm gonna do it myself now. Alright. We need to figure out where the enemies are coming from. Let them come a bit closer. Uh, it's five enemies. We can do that. But the important thing is that we're gonna play it extremely safe now. SRM carrier, easy target. As long as he's not getting close. There we go. Target now destroyed. the Target scorpion. Acquired. The dead, actually. Stay in motion. Good. Another one. I think we have so many missiles. Good. My left side torso is not in a good Target spot acquired. anymore. But hey. What are you? Bulldog. Bulldogs have armor. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Take me. Again. It's all right. So we want to cool down before we go for the last two enemies. And I think both of them were mechs over here. 
Ah, yeah, yeah. And the Flashman is uh, probably gonna be our first target if possible. Bringing Hellbringer! Really? Well then. We wanna attract the fire from the Hellbringer. 100%. Do you see those LRM 20s? So beautiful, man. I love that stream of missiles right now. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Target Was it one. worth it? I kinda hope so. We're stealing from the from the merchants here. I'll bring her. Yeah, we need to we need to get closer. They are currently under ECM, and I definitely want that flashman. You know what? I'll send the all-out attack um, order. It's now or never. Come on, we need all the firepower that we can muster. Say hold fire to the Hollander so that he's not attracting any. Alright. Uh, follow me, guys. Follow me. Actually, I want you to go here. So I'm gonna move. Are we fine doing that? Alright, I'm greedy. Of course. So, people are in position. Where are you? I see you. Got him. We got him, we got him, we got him. Oh, <laughs> the damage. It's massive. Almost lost the mag, but we did it in the end. Uy, uy, uy. That was fun. That was good. That was a challenge. Holy macaroni. What do we get out of that? Do we get everything that they offered me or one of these things? We certainly get a bit of reputation and a million sea bills. I mean, that's bad reputation, right? But it's reputation nonetheless. Uh, haha. <laughs> well. Oh, I was over here. Sorry for that. Wrong overlay. Some double heatsink kits. Two, three, four, five. That is a freaking full Hellbringer. Oh my god, the power spike. I want the Endel Steel as well. I could get it by dropping one of those heatsink kits. It's worth it. Yeah. It's totally worth it. Yeah, for the bills. We need those. So, one more pick. What are we taking? Flashman. It's a 75 tonner. It's not bad. Um, So many good things here. Don't get me wrong. All of these are absolutely freaking fantastic. Clan equipment, as you can see. We get some streak ammo. I know we have a streak launcher. It's, it's four. It's four picks. I don't care. So, jump chance it is. And... Um, that's gonna be it. Actually, jump chance are easier to acquire than this machine gun tier zero. Kind of funny like that, but I'll take the machine gun. It's a cantina mission that we have here. Holy crap. Was it worth it? Yes! Yes! So, a million sea bills. We get a pirate Jenna. We get the pirate's bane. Oh my god! And the trader supplies. Whatever that means. The pilot didn't join our ranks. What does trader supplies mean? I... I don't know. Is there anything here called trader supplies? No. Uh, I I don't know. I I, I just I. Okay. So first, first things first. Since we are here already, I want to quickly uh, take a look at the weapons and the equipment that is here. Double bin of SRM ammo. Yeah, that's good. I'll take it. We have high explosives here. Yeah, it's good. It is good. Increase its damage, but over a wider area. I don't I don't know. I don't care. Let's go let's go back to Battle Max. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the repair cost is gonna be massive. Salvage assembly. Ah look! There's a Centurion. That we can also build. Uh, what I am very interested in is the Hellbringer though. <laughs> Come on! Ah, XL broken. But how broken? Beyond repair. Okay, fine. 
So we got an ERPPC, we have the clan double heatsink kit, and we got some streak ammo as well as clan machine guns. I mean, this is a hellbringer, it's a beautiful 65 ton mech that we are certainly building, but not now. Not now. Alright. So, um, I could play another mission here. Tarbo lost an arm, Shadowhawk lost both arms, I believe. Yeah, just lost small lasers. You got some critties, but you're fine. One quick check. Very, very quickly. You had 11 structure left. It's uh, basically two medium laser shots and you you would have been downed. Um, Yeah, I wanted to see what contract do we have here. A take away their toys contract. Mmm. Mmm. See, I wanted to play the Hollander. 38 days. Lots of money. It's, it's just not worth it. Which makes what I take then. The other hawk. What about you? 51 days. Uh, I gotta take my light max. And one medium. Unless I wanted to run the Hollander as is, which is not advised. No, it's fine. You know what? Play the contract. Get some salvage. Get some money. And... Yeah, get things done. 175 tons. Alright, so it's gonna be... I'll play the Raven. Um, we'll take the Hawk. We'll take... This fire starter. There's one fire starter that has two critical small lasers, which we also need to take a look at. Maybe it's better to run the Jenner instead. Or the Pirate's Bane. Or Irby. Where's the Pirate's Bane even? Sure. Get that to the battlefield. Uh, before we go in, uh, I want to quickly check these these quirks that the Pirate's Bane is uh, running here. Alright, so, compact mech. Uh, less upkeep. Pretty good. Evasion plus one. Cramped cockpit for less turn speed. Locust has a 20% cooldown and heat generation modifier. Pirate's Bane gives us 10% more armor and structure as well as 100% turn speed. And another plus three evasion. Oh, I love it. Machine gun cooldown, 25%. Machine gun damage, less. Oh, 15% less. But we have more range. And more ammo. And then small laser. 25% more heat, but also 40% more damage. But less range. But also 30% less beam duration. And then another plus three evasion. And chance to completely avoid incoming fire by 15%. Wait, what? What? What's your build? Just small lasers and machine gun. Who would have thought? I need to play this. Let's go. Meep, meep. Uh, where's that pirate's bane? Come on. There we go. You can have the raven. And yeah, I will keep those people. He is already bruised. I know. We're gonna rack up some negative quirks here, but is that good? Probably not. I don't think you can quirk the commander, so that's that's irrelevant. So I'll guess we'll bring. Uh, let me see. Bring you. Vixen here. Let's go, Vixen. Ready up. Very interested to see how this goes. I'm also going down here. Oh my god. What a fight! What a reward! Attention. Lights on. Okay. So our goal is to stay on target. We are an ankle biter that just grinds online. into the enemy's legs and is not Weapons releasing online. anymore until the enemy is dead. D -D dead. Wow, that turn speed. Holy hell. Uh-huh. Oh god. Oh we god. Oh yeah, we only have torso mounted weapons? Bonus, the longer we can hold the enemy's back. Yeah, only torso mounted weapons. Alright. Oh my god, this is so so weird and awkward to play. Cause I, I touch my left and right button and it's instantly moving. Wow. New target assassin. It's really hard to aim because of that. Uh-huh. Locust action! <laughs> we got him. Are we supposed to pick up an assassin? Stay sharp, I think so, warriors. right? Ally I believe we have a mission for that. Alright. Zip! That turn speed is massive! 
Okay. Come on, enemies. Show yourselves. I'm ready for you. Okay, we have a flyer. One helicopter. Two helicopters. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. There is nothing that we can really do. God. <laughs> this is so Aiming is hard. It's really, really hard. You take the helicopter. I'm gonna take the tanks then. SRM carrier, is he gonna hit us? We'll see. We have maximum evasion. Yep. And I mean, I'm on my commander who is already maxed out on evasion. There's another guy here somewhere. There we go. Enemy mech forces spotted operating in the area. <laughs> oh god. How messy. But fun. Absolutely fun. And we're gonna go through the fire and flames. Cool. Jenner 2C. Oh my god. The goodies. Uh, guys, go for the other guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go for, like, the commando. Focusing on target. So we can do this. Go for legs. Mm, I don't want to disable his uh, missile pods. Also, standing still is not a good idea. Come on, we want to lag this guy. We are here for the salvage. Absolutely. Great. 7 out of 14. So, Jenner 2C, totally a pickup for us. Does it mean we're going to leave the assassin on the board even though we want it? Most likely, yeah. Absolutely. So we've got five enemies coming in. Get it, get it. You get the flyers, I get the mechs. Because that's what the Logos is for. What? Ah. <laughs> oh my god, so hectic here. Everything is so hectic. And okay, we gotta go a little closer in order to be in optimal range. Okay. Down he goes. And the other Wasp as well. What is our optimal range even? 100 meters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hostiles are escalating their assault on your position. The funny thing is that the machine guns actually have a longer range than our small lasers. Okay. Stay in motion, not getting hit. And come on. Down he goes. So, the last two enemies coming down now. We have another light and a medium mag. All right, it's a Jenner and a Vindicator. I'm having way too much fun today, guys. It is such a beautiful episode. I hope you like it as well. If you haven't already, click that like button. Or subscribe to the channel if you want more mech content every day. So, here we go. Last dude, the Vindicator. Not this one. That one. Stay on leg. I'm behind the guy. I want to try to stay behind the guy. Look at him. He's trying to move into me. But he can't because I'm too fast. And as a result, he's not really doing a lot. Where are your legs? Found him. <laughs> Amazing! Locus Fire in Spain. Totally worth it. Should we stay for a little longer? I wonder. I really wonder if that is a good idea. New target, Phoenix uh, target Yeah, there's another Jenner. We want to take that guy, so... That we have a, an option for more salvage. <coughs> I also want to leg him. Copy that. So you're gonna stay and do nothing. Ow. What's your leg, buddy? Come on. Come on. Got him. Target okay. Destroyed. Now we go. Target now we go, go, go. Uh, actually, actually, this Phoenix Hawk is interesting. It's the improved one with medium pulses and the ER lasers. So, let's go for him as well. We're here for some goodies. It's just opportunity cost that we are paying. I know we potentially have enough to salvage. But I want to see. I want to take a look at his stuff. Blah, the other way around. Tank. And the good news is, every enemy that we are killing here is also giving us extra money. Going for the kill. So we have this the hawk. Target destroyed. Uh, it's time now. I think it's time. Unless another Jenner is coming up and we're gonna take all the SRMs plus ammo. 
clan SRMs are very effective. Very efficient weapons. Both, actually. Effective and efficient. But let's go. A job well done, Commander. Stand by for that was up. fun as hell. You know, I need a little, little bit of time to adjust to the speed of this mech, but the heat management is absolutely perfect. The small laser and machine gun combination, you can just run it as is. There is no need for a better build. It's just doing the thing. And I don't think you even have any other hard points than that, so could not slap more weapons on the mech. It's already done. Cool. A million C builds. And that's what I'm talking about. We got Endo Steel. This guy double heat sinks XL engine. Again, potentially interesting. Jenner is too good not to take, though. I need four parts to build, so we'll do this. And still have eight left over. Mm. Could take Pharaoh, which I will. Got three left. Streak ammo, SRM clan ammo. I'll take the clan ammo, actually, the SRM ammo, because I want the stuff from the Jenna. Right, there's a double heat sink, which is also nice. Um, but is it? It's better than the SRM? No, I'm gonna keep the SRM ammo. Here we go. Let's take incapacitated. Oh boy, oh boy. Head was damaged. Sure, whatever. Oh, what an episode today. We killed assassins. Ah, we killed assassins. Nice. Light Rifle, tier 5. Another upgrade point. We are supposed to collect a Vulcan. And 10 machine guns tier 0. Oy, oy, oy. So, um, yeah, you know what? Let's build another clan mech. Or, hold up. Hold up. There was... This here. Scrapyard Foreman. Improves the state of assembled mechs by roughly 10%. And then another 5%. Should we wait for the assembly? It's 15%. We need 5 points total. We have 1 currently. I don't want to wait. I want the immediate value. So let's go ahead and build that Jenner. And cross our fingers that it's gonna work. 600k? Sure. Worth it. Absolutely, in any case. Yeah, it's a fine. We didn't get the engine, which is a bit of a bummer, but there is more structure and armor and another double heatsink kit as well as an SRM-6 clan. Do we have one of those already? Because in pairs... Eh, we have a streak. Um, in pairs, it kind of makes sense running two of them. Having one is it's, it's not really good enough, I'd say. Not worth the investment. But yeah, there is more ammo, there is more jump jettery, there is this here, the center torso in good state. It'll take a bit of money and time to bring all of this back to another mech though. 1.6 mil. Yeah, let's say 2 million sea bills roughly. Um, but yeah, after that, we're gonna sell the Jenner for a massive amount of money as well. And be fine, I'd say. Gods, there is so much value falling our way right now. And I don't know what to prioritize on the first. But hey, we're gonna figure it out in the next episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. We didn't play the uh, Hollander, but we gotta do it in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. Again, mech content every single day on this channel. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.